Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're going to be covering another video game for our Kickstarter games that need to be funded YouTube series, and that game today is Attack on Kitten. Uh, wow, guys, this is a pretty cool game. I really enjoy. I've been enjoying this quite a bit. Unfortunately, it does not look like they will be hitting their Kickstarter pledge, but I still wanted to cover their Kickstarter anyway for you guys so you can kind of see it and check it out. But yeah, sadly, they only got $8,644 of the $50,000 they were stretching for, and we only got 56 hours ago. Unless we get some massive, super-duper funding for them, this project won't make it on this the, on this Kickstarter run at least. But yeah, so uh, Cat Attack on Kitten it was developed and it's going to be published, I imagine, by Wisp Entertainment. They, or at least Wisp Entertainment is the one that developed the game for you guys so far. So yeah, I don't know if I'm assuming they're going to be the ones that would publish it as well. But yeah, here we are. We're going to check out Attack on Kitten. <laughs> right here it says, with magical cats as your weapon, you are never fight alone. So this is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and watch the trailer for you guys. And then we can talk more about the game here right afterwards. As you can see here from that trailer, that was such an extremely adorable looking game. This is definitely a game that will be appropriate for all ages. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. They, like, it's so simple they don't even need a tutorial for it. I really enjoy it quite a bit. So maybe we'll read, uh, we'll read this here. It's about the project for you guys uh, for Attack on Kitten. And it says here, Attack on Kitten is a retro action adventure game that aims to recreate that 16-bit game. The 16-bit games of yesterday by utilizing classic game design to deliver a truly great gaming experience. You play as Cat the Cat Knight <laughs> on a quest to save the beloved Cat Kingdom from the fins of the evil goldfish Zert. Is I think it's Zert Zerxes. Uh, yes. Wield, a mi wield mighty and magical cats to shoot, slash, and scratch your way to victory. As you play, as you play, our love of classic Super NES games will shine through. The venture is reminiscent of Mega Man X, Super Metroid, and Donkey Kong Country. We aim to take what made games like these so great and bring it, bring it back with a new light. If you are a crazy, if you are crazy for cats, platforming, vibrant art, catchy tunes, fishy bosses, it does have very uh, catchy tunes, by the way. Uh, fishy bosses and pulse pounding action. Attack on Kenton is a must play. And hey, if you aren't a cat person, this might be, just be the thing that turns you around. Go ahead and try it. Try it. So yeah, guys. So like right here, you can down go to their Kickstarter uh, webpage here, and you can download the game and play it ahead of time. If you're worried that you might not like it, they offered the demo out for free for anyone to play here. So here's the Steam. They got this, the Steam green light as well. And then right here, <laughs> I love this. So we're talking about the magical cats that you get on your team. And we got uh, Pixel as Excalibur, Henry as Meowler, uh, Tom as Pushing Boots, uh, Anya as Artemu, and it's Cecil as Mittens, and Wally as Question Mark. And then we got Question Mark, Question Mark, and then Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. But yeah. And then you fight fishy bosses. You see this little guy dancing right here? He reminds me a lot. He like does a bunch of like uh was it hmm, what is his name? The guy from Punch Out. 
Is it Little Mac? Yeah. So he does a lot of his moves like that. If you play the demo, like, yeah, see here, he does a lot of the attacks that are very uh, similar to uh, Little Mac. And then we got this crazy looking uh, booby uh, fish uh, monster here. That's pretty funny. I'm assuming that attack on kitten is kind of a, a throw on attack on Titan. And then right here, that's kind of showing more about the 16 memories. That shows kind of how I think how they go through uh, um, animating the game for you guys and then making for fun. Yeah, look right here. We're fighting little little Mac fish. And attack, attack on Kitten is designed around one philosophy. But is it fun? All mechanics, bosses, and stage layouts are made with question, with this question in mind. Every, let's see, every attack should be feel precise and consistent. The new cats will give you not just new options for fighting, but for exploration as well. Fighting a new cat won't simply replace an old one, and each one will remain useful in and out of combat for the entirety of the game, which is really cool. You don't see that sometimes, like Zelda is like one of those games that's horrible about giving you a cool something that you only use for one dungeon and then you never use again. But yes, yeah, his enemies behave in ways that are predictable but challenging. And then they show, yeah, this was made with Game Maker Studio. And here's the team right here of uh, people that were involved with the making of uh, Attack on Kitten, the Wisp Entertainment, I believe. And then making Pogwis. Pog That's pretty cute. Um, yeah, we got more graphics over here. It says, Tech on Kitten is its early development, but the core mechanics, bosses, weapons, zones that have been decided in the alpha build is currently available on our website, attack, uh, attackonkitten.com download, which showcases some of the game's core mechanics and a small portion of the story, of the story and characters. Yep. And we got them fighting fishes, some shell monsters. It's kind of funny, too. A lot of the, like, uh, sounds in this game, it's it sounds very old Sega-ish, even though they mention a lot of Super Nintendo stuff here. And then, like, when you hit these shell guys, it reminds me of a noise that you would hear in uh, DuckTales. Uh, which is pretty funny and then they're showing their why they're doing the Kickstarter here and where all the money's going to so 30% would be going to music 20% would be going taxes and Kickstarter fees 40% is additional programming and art cost and 10% is back rewards and mu uh, miscellaneous so here was their stretch goals which unfortunately they did not hit any of them really but you know hopefully we'll have those again and a new game plus would be amazing and then there, here's the rewards. They have lots of cool rewards that they were going for. Um, I really like this art. It looks like an old Super Nintendo um, box with a manual. And yeah, they showed you they had some really interesting uh, awards for uh, hitting their tiers here. I would love to, I definitely would have loved to have some of these myself. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't just come through this time. But please, 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 Wizard Entertainment, try again. Make sure this game comes out because it deserves to come out. And then they have where you can follow them right down here. So moving back up here, you'll see that they have reasonable uh, uh, pledge uh, tiers that you can pledge in there. Well, we got the you no know, 5, 10, 15, 25, and 10, about 10. Well, it goes into 10 increments, and then it goes up to 80, 100. But yeah, they, they had a lot of cool tiers here. And then I guess before we get going off and anymore, I'm going to show you their website here. Uh, their website's really super duper cute. Um, very... Uh, at the catsy i guess you could say that they got the little cute paws and we got the characters in the background you can talk you can see um about us and the press kit i guess you know right there they had some cool things on here but yeah and they had a blog on here as well and then i was going to show you the green light right here um yeah it's really cool i think you could still vote for the green lights i'm not too sure but you can read some comments what people thought about the game and all that jazz here and it's just kind of going over the same stuff we saw again and then check out their twitter they have a pretty cool twitter too and they're very responsive to uh anything you guys ask them and that would be like excel excel per aok ads so right here you guys you can see that and also um we'll have floating up here we'll have please support this kickstarter we'll have a little button up here if you can um and don't sweat if you can't this time, guys. At least, at least if you can, I would super appreciate it. Oh, as I punch my mic there, uh, if you could just spread this video and all on your social media websites, I really appreciate that. Expre um, definitely spread around their website and all that stuff. I would like to get as much traction uh, going for them for their next time if they do decide to do another Kickstarter. I would like them to start off with you no know, in third year. I would like to really help them uh, get going this time, guys. So. Let's make sure that we make this game happen. I'd like, I'd like to see it happen, guys. It'd be a great game. So, yeah, and then they also have a YouTube. You can check out their channel there, and it has a couple things. But, yeah, let's get this game funded. Uh, not necessarily this time, but next time, I'd love to see it. Well, it would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen this time. 
So yeah, guys, uh, I like again would like to say thank you to Wisp Entertainment. This has been a fantastic game. I really enjoy it, and the best of luck to you guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. And before I go, uh, you know what I'm going to say, guys. Why don't I always say thank you of every single one of my videos? Flip that bacon. See you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.